Hey guys, it's Paul, Darcy Phone Fighters. I just want to wish you guys all a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday Season. Um, basically, in this video, we're just going to get into a quick uh, little bit of coverage of the Phone Fighter F117 that I'm working on. Um, basically, I've got it pretty much done. Um, first, we're going to get into some of the pictures of the construction so you guys can see kind of how I built the plane. And then um, after that, we'll get into um, actually looking at the completed plane. We're not going to do any mating flights today because the weather still hasn't... Uh, been good enough for us to get out to the park, but um, hopefully this weekend for Christmas we'll be able to get out there and uh, do some maiden flights. But let's get into the uh, basic construction of the plane through pictures and uh, we'll get into uh, covering the finished plane in a little bit. Okay guys, here's a first glimpse at the completed uh, Foam Fighters F117 foam board model. I've got it pretty much completed. This is going to be the first prototype. I still have to do flight testing on it. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick glimpse at uh, the way it's looking. Uh, basically, it's been completed. Like I said, I put the uh, nice flow through air ducts on here. So it's got nice free flowing air movement straight back to where the prop is. Um, I decided I'd just put the uh, servos on the back, um, just did an easy placement right through the side instead of um, trying to do some weird um, control arm placement or something like that with the uh, rods and stuff like that. I think it'll be easier for you guys and also is easier for myself. Um, and I think it'll take out some of the flex. There's probably still a little bit of flex in the elevons because the uh, control arm is way over here on the side, but I think it should work uh, pretty good. Um, basically for this first prototype, I used the uh, Turnigy motor over here. I don't know if you can see it clearly in the video. It's the uh, 2836 by 2350 kV motor. Um, I think it puts out roughly around 400 watts of power and I've got currently a 6.4 sports prop on it. I may use this prop or possibly the 6 5.5 prop. Um, and it's got a nice little um, tray in here. i got a magnet holding it down. Um, everything fits nice and clean in here. There's the receiver. Uh, I put little access holes here for the servo wires to come up and they just go right in the receiver. And as you can see, it's like uh, my Foam Fighter 22 F15 and the Foam Fighter 23. has got a nice little battery tray. So I can pull it out. It fits kind of snug. And 
the battery's going to go inside. Um, I guess it's kind of dark there, you can't really see. But that's all integrated, it's all foam board, the uh, battery tray and stuff like that. And it, with the box section, it really makes this um, fuselage nice and rigid. Um, actually, there's no carbon fiber spars or any spars right now in the plane. Um, using the Elmer's foam board, it's um, fairly stiff. If you're going to use Depron or anything else to build it, it probably need some uh, carbon fiber spars. But as for this first test, we're going to do it without any. Um, I'm hoping the weather gets pretty good here in the next couple days um, for Christmas. Then possibly we can get out and uh, take it for a test flight. But as you can see, it's got the um, one of the modifications I also made was spreading out the tail fins so they're uh, six inches apart. So that should allow for a nice free flow of the air from the prop out through the back. Um, so this plane still has to be tested. Um, I think it's uh, coming along pretty good. Hopefully everything goes good. I got to do a little bit of adjustments to the CG. The CG is going to be roughly about 16 inches back from the nose. Um, this plane is a 26 inch wingspan plane. So it's a pretty good size. And it's roughly about the same weight as the uh, Foam Fighter 22. Right at about uh, between 26 to 28 ounces. So, uh, wish me luck for good weather. Um, once we do, I'll uh, get some maiden flights in and uh, show you guys the video. Okay, guys, well, that'll pretty much finish up um, where I'm at here with the uh, Foam Fighter 117 or FF 117. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way the design turned out. I think I uh, learned a lot when I was doing the uh, Foam Fighter 22 and Foam Fighter 23, so I kind of carried over that same design concept into this model with the uh, free flow design of letting the air go through these oversized air ducts and stuff like that. Um, I think that'll help make a st uh, stable flying plane, but um, all that's uh, I guess to be verified when I can get out and do the maiden flights. So hopefully all the maiden flights go well and uh, the plane proves to be a, a good model. And then if it does, I'll finish completing the plans up and get them posted on our blog for you guys to download for free. So uh, wish me luck for that. Uh, hopefully we can get some good weather over the Christmas holiday and uh, I can get it tested. Thanks for joining me on the uh, Foam Fighter 117 um, basically build video. Oh hey guys, just before you go, I just want to let you guys know about uh, three other guys that um, we basically consider as teammates on our team. Me and Frank have uh, been very thankful to have these guys uh, sharing the information and uh, other stuff with us basically from the beginning of RC Foam Fighters. Uh, first of all, there's um, Ken or Wild Hover on YouTube here. He's uh, shared a lot of ideas with us. He's actually even done a video for us on the KF airfoils, on his findings, on how they work and stuff like that. Um, look forward to Ken, he's going to be uh, basically sharing information with us um, in the future also as we go and possibly doing more videos of his own on his own designs and possibly even maybe some of ours as we go. Um, next up there was uh, Brandon or Brando RC. He works a lot with uh, RC Flyers also. Some of his plants can be found on their website. Um, but Brandon, he's uh, kind of been away for a little while on the road but now he's back yeah, at home and uh, doing uh, some more RC designs. He's got a lot of cool ideas that he's going to be sharing with us in the coming weeks and months. So we uh, really are thankful to have Brandon uh, sharing those ideas with us um, and look forward to some exciting videos for him coming out in the future. And um, last is uh, one of the other guys that's been uh, working with us a lot. He's been building a lot of the planes like the Skyfighter uh, version 2 and the uh, FF-22 and stuff like that. Um, his name is Greg and uh, he's um, got a lot of experience. He's been in the uh, RC hobby for quite a while. And me and Frank were really uh, humbled and impressed and uh, thankful that he decided to start doing a lot of other builds with us. And um, he's going to be doing some exciting builds in the future, so look forward to that. Um, I think he's working with Frank of doing a, basically um, a Skyfighter Extreme. So I think those two are working the details on that. So look forward to that coming in the future. So um, we are thankful and very much uh, welcome these guys as part of our team. So um, I'll put the links in the sidebar to their YouTube channel, so kind of keep an eye on them. and. If you would, maybe even possibly subscribe to them so you guys uh, can uh, keep in touch and see what they're doing also because they're really good contributors to our team. Um, they share a lot of ideas, like I said. Um, so we look uh, forward to working with them in 2010 and uh, who knows how long after that. So thanks again, guys, for your time. Um, hope you guys all have a great holiday and uh, hopefully to see you soon with this uh, F-117 flying on the main flight. Take care.